Hi folks, it's Jen White from OpenSource.com bringing you the top five articles from this past week, August 29th. And thanks for joining me outside today. It's lovely. All right, at number five we have, does open source boost mental health? Phil Shapiro ponders the question of what participating in open source communities and projects can do for one's happiness. He points to mood boosting activities like sharing and tinkering to explain that from where he sits, open source creates more hopeful and resilient minds. At number four, we have Optimize Your Linux Rig for Top-Notch Writing. Stephen Avadia shares an article from his blog, My Linux Rig. He shares his interview with Scott Nesbitt, a tech writer living in New Zealand, about how he's set up his Linux environment to be conducive to writing. We know Scott well at OpenSource.com. He's a frequent writer and one of our community moderators. He'll be sharing his re reviews of open source tools and upcoming articles, so stay tuned for that, too. At number three, we have an introduction to Apache Hadoop for big data. Sachin gives a background on Apache Hadoop, an open source project many developers are familiar with these days. Hadoop has been growing in popularity since its creation in 2005 by Doug Cutting and Mike Carfelia. If all you know about Hadoop, though, is that its mascot is a yellow elephant inspired by Cutting Sun stuffed animal, you got to check out this introduction. At number two, we have a short list, list of open source software used in NASA labs. Lauren Etz appears at my top five again this week with her interview with Herb Schilling, who is a computer scientist at the Graphics and Visualization Lab at NASA. Lauren interned there this summer for three weeks, spending some of her time on a proof of concept project called the Pi Wall. It's a video powered wall driven by Raspberry Pi computers. And at number one, we have What Happens When a Non-Coder Tries to Learn Linux, authored by yours truly, Jen Wyke. It's a little weird to be reporting that my article is number one in my list this week, but it couldn't be avoided, folks. It was just really popular with readers. I'm super excited about it. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you sharing it around. Um, really, I just wrote about why I'm taking the edX course, Introduction to Linux, what it means to me to be learning about Linux, and what the course is like. I show readers how you sign up, um, what the steps are, and then also what the first few chapters have been like. I'm um, up to chapter six and there's 18 chapters, so I'm almost halfway through. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is installing Linux on one of my computers, so I'll be writing about that next. Stay tuned to see that. Um, and that's it for our top five this week. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.